Okay, you guys remember how I showed you the maps that were here on Earth before 1958, before the governments took them out. Now I'm going to show you the Encyclopedia Britannica's in the public libraries before 1958. Here is volume two out of the alphabet A. And we're going to flip to the Antarctica, which, and this is from 1958, as you can see. Now, we're going to flip to the Antarctica and see what the Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958 before the Antarctic Treaty says is there. Now you won't find this in the new encyclopedias because the government's banned them. But what I want you to notice right here is notice how it says the flights proved inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south longitude 90 degrees east take a really really close look at that now I'm gonna zoom it in for you when they returned to New Zealand these flights proved the inland areas to be featureless with a character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south longitude 90 degrees east. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, let me show you with an image of what a flat earth map would look like. Now, this is what a latitude 80 degrees south would look like on a flat earth map. As you can see, the dome comes down closer to you over the wall, which would be about 13,000 feet. Now, if you go back out into the center of the earth or up the North Pole, and try to go up to the firmament with a little bit of calculation it's going to show that it's about 385,500 feet away it's really really simple folks now if you're not familiar with any of this at all at all and you're just now new to the, all this it, you could say well this guy is crazy he doesn't know what he's talking about but what, but what you got to ask yourself is why do all the maps before 1958 show a flat earth with the ice wall around it and a firmament, a dome. And why does the encyclopedia tell you that there's a dome there and it gives you the exact height at a certain latitude and longitude? Well, the reason is, is because in 1958, that's when all governments and all nations of the world signed the UN treaty to ban all civilians from going to the Antarctica. And NASA came in and erased everything just like they're erasing everything today. So again, ask yourself, if all this existed, before 1958, why doesn't it exist now? How come it all of a sudden was erased and just disappeared out of your history books, out of your encyclopedias, out of your libraries? Wake up, people. Wake up. Okay, people, my name is Dana. This is my very first YouTube video ever. Um, I've got something here that I don't quite understand, and I'm hoping maybe someone out there can explain it to me. I've been doing a lot of research on um, the flat earth and the firmament, uh, things like that. This is um, a set of encyclopedias I have. Um, they're Encyclopedia Americana. Um, this is volume two. It's the A's. What we're going to do is look at what it says about Antarctica. Um, these, just remember, this, uh, this is a 1958 edition. Okay, this was before the Antarctic Treaty was signed. Um, this was before the supposed Apollo missions. Um, I want to show you something that it says in here about Antarctica. It basically talks about um, all the exploration. It says here, Antarctic region, regions, excuse me, um, all the exploration. Um, has a few, few photos, not too many. This is um, the map created back then. I've read all of this. This is the part here that I have the question about. I am trying my best to get some light on here really good. Um, like I said, this is my first video. Don't criticize me too much. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, I hope you can see this. I did flights, and it says, These flights prove the inland areas to be featureless in character 
with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Okay, I have no idea what that means. There seems to be only one definition for the word dome. Um, anyway, if uh, anybody has any idea what this means, can explain this to me, I would appreciate it. Okay, thanks.
stars our only hope. Human action resounds in the heavens. The bell echoes above. What we decide here today will polish or crack the firmament. What shall it be? Human action resounds in the heavens. The bell echoes above. What we decide here today will polish or crack the firmament. What shall it be?